I uh, grew up in Larchmont, New York, in Westchester County. Uh, my parents were convert Protestant ministers. They met each other at the Yale Divinity School and were both ordained Protestant ministers in the Congregational Church. Uh, my parents entered the Catholic Church after you know, discerning the truth claims of the Catholic Church and entered the Catholic Church in 1955. Uh, and my father published a book uh, called One Shepherd, One Flock, which was published by Sheed and Ward in 55 and republished by Catholic Answers in the year 2000. So uh, my parents were courageous and heroic in following their consciences and their belief in the truth claims of the Catholic Church. Uh, I have uh, come from a family of six children and uh, my father ended up working for uh, Bishop Fulton Sheen at the propagation of the New York of of the faith in New York City. He always had a keen sense of global worldwide mission. Bishop Sheen baptized me in 1960, and so I've I've always found that 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 whole sense of global worldwide mission, having been baptized by Bishop Sheen, is a particular responsibility that I have as a Catholic bishop. In terms of um, when I first be began to think of being a Catholic priest or discerning it, I was a junior at Phillips Academy Andover, in, and uh, I can remember doing a term paper on St. John Neumann, uh, the first male American canonized saint. And I remember doing the term paper, researching his life, writing, and just being very inspired by his humility, uh, his love for the Word of God and his reverence for the Eucharist as a priest. And I went to a mass during, uh, while doing that paper and I can remember the priest raised the chalice at the consecration and in, with a real peaceful silence, just silently I asked the Lord, do you want me to be a priest? And that was the beginning of it. There were a lot of life experiences and a lot of discernment from there, but that's where it began. I, I love the Diocese of Rockville Center and its beautiful parishes, the wonderful diversity within our parishes, the spirit of Catholic evangelization. Our Hispanic community on Long Island is beautifully diverse and it's been exciting to see their leadership in the Fifth and Quentro and in every dimension of Catholic evangelization, uh, whether our Wonderful Hispanics are from El Salvador, Mexico, uh, Peru, or Ecuador, or any place in Latin America. It's beautiful to see how they, their heritage from their native countries becomes a beautiful expression and mix in our diocese. And I will tell you, every time I sp celebrate a Spanish uh, mass, I feel like I'm being evangelized. I love uh, from the Gospel of Luke, our Lord saying, I have come to set fire on the earth, would that it were already enkindled. And that verse is really part of my uh, Episcopal motto, holiness and mission, which comes from uh, Pope St. John Paul II's Redemptoris Missio, the universal call to both holiness and mission. In the lives of the saints, you can't separate their sanctity from their missionary spirit. Gosh, it's, it's a huge constellation of so many uh, great saints. Uh, Blessed Carlo Acutis is coming to the fore as this great young man, a, a saint of, uh, you know, just knowing social media, leveraging social media, his holiness, his love for the Eucharist, his expression of, in the social media world of Eucharistic catechesis based on the history of Eucharistic miracles in our church. You know, he died at the age of 15 and he teaches our young people, you know, you're called to be a saint, not when you're later in life, but right now, the way that blessed Carlo Acutis was.